You know, say if it's on Tech Jamo, it has to be techie. This fridge right here has a goddamn screen in it. <laughs> Alright people them, so this is the ting in it. Now I can't remember the model number. The model number was a mad ting, so I'm gonna just put it on the screen somewhere. As you can see, we've bombed it with bare different fridge magnets and ting. I'll just show you around the side, nothing much is really going on over there. I know there's a couple few of these fridge models with the screen, so this is the one with the water dispenser as well. Um, it's the plumbed in one kind of thing. I'll show you guys a little bit about that later on. Uh, let's just get the boring bit out of the way first and have a look at what this thing is saying for capacity fam. Now, inside, um, as you can see, you've got a couple drawers down here. You've got one, two, three, four, and then you've got a secret drawer. And it's not even a secret really, but man don't really bend down like that. <laughs> you've got the next one down there. Um, now this, see this little wine rack thing here? Like when we got it, first of all, they tried not to give us that. And when we went back to the shop, they were like, nah, 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 that's an extra fam. Mums, you started cussing the people them out and they ended up giving that to her. But it was supposed to be there because it was literally in the demo unit. I think they literally took the wine rack out of the demo unit and gave it to my mumsy. It's all mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did. And you've got these two little drawers here, obviously, where you can um, put veg and fruit in them to keep them a little bit longer and separate from everything else. So yeah, that's pretty much all vibes. And then I'll show you this part as well. Now this is like some kind of ice keeper. It keeps all the ice for the machine. Um, and then you've got one, two, three, four, and two drawers down there that keep things them separate from everything else as well. And you even got two little slight drawers down there as well, but they are proper thin fam. Like look how thin these things are, you see it? Mad thin, well that one's okay, but that bottom one, mad thin fam. And obviously you can take this out if you need to ever empty the ice manually, just in case something gets stuck or something. So yeah, that, that is what it is right there. All right, now that's the boring bit out of the way. Um, let's get on to the dispenser. Now the dispenser is pretty much standard procedure. You got water mode, you got cubed mode, you got crushed ice mode. Um, obviously, if you go for water mode, you put a little bit of water, switch it to cubed ice, um, press it back on the ting. Should get some ice sooner or later. There we go. Takes a bit of a while, but so to show you. Oh, oh, mad, mad. But yeah, that's the ice, so you get it. Okay, that's the ice there. And then obviously if you want the crushed ice thing, it just takes a little bit longer because obviously it's trying to crush the ice, but man will show you what it's doing. You see it? I'm not gonna let it do what it's doing. Oh, damn. Damn, can you guys hear that as well, fam? And this is what the crushed ice looks like. Hold on, let me see if I can lower the brightness. The crushed ice there fam, so kinda almost slush puppy like, but not that crushed in it. Obviously, when you go between the options, it makes a little bong noise as well. All right, now we got all the boring stuff out of the way. Let's talk about this screen. So first party trick that they show you when you go into the showroom is that you can swipe down with two fingers and you can see what's inside the fridge. So obviously, as you can see, you got the strawberries in there, you got some eggs in the background, you got these two pieces of lettuce or so vegetable container from the Turkish that we had last night. Um, but that's all you can see. There's no swiping up or down. There's no seeing the rest of the fridge. Um, and that's because on this model, there's only one camera. Now online, on the Samsung website, I've seen a model that has three cameras, one here, one here, and obviously one a little bit lower so that you can see everything else that is in the fridge. But this one is a bit useless because although you can see this shelf here and you can see a little bit of this shelf here, what about everything that's above that shelf? Like those pots, you completely can't see at all. Anything below that, anything that's in the door of the fridge, you can't see at all. So for me, it's a bit gimmicky. Like they'll show you that at the showroom. They'll be like, yeah, it's sick. You can see what's in the fridge. But two twos, you can literally only see two shelves. Like bare, bare useless. Nobody will actually tell you that unless they've lived with it, you get it? <laughs> anyway, um, moving on from that, 
you've got a kind of Android interface going on here fam like a normal Samsung smartphone or tablet so you've got your home screens where you can basically add widgets and then if you go into the app section you've got like a place with all your apps and stuff like that just like on a normal Samsung phone or a normal Samsung tablet that's all cool one thing you need to realize though is that there is no Google Play App Store on this device even though it's running Google there are no Google Play App Store so you can't just download whatever apps you want you can't download Instagram you can't download Twitter um, you get the apps that you see here fam so that's Amazon Music obviously I can just show you this and you guys can pause the video and see what apps you get here kind of thing like you got Spotify there as well um, I just realized this thing's in the way so you guys can see what's going on there and there um, but yeah those apps are what you get you can't get any more apps apart from these available apps down here at the bottom that you can install and yet again these are only the apps that Samsung allows you to install um, yeah so yeah basically it's just widgets on the front I've just got like a calendar widget here you can synchronize that to your Google Calendar at least um, you've got fridge controls as well which is kind of cool so obviously you can change the temperature of the fridge uh, compartment or change the temperature of the freezer compartment um, have it on ice making mode water filter information you're getting all that kind of fridge um, control stuff like that and there's also a Samsung app which lets you control this stuff from your smartphone which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later but yeah um, what you can see here is just literally the widgets that they allow you to have obviously you can change different wallpapers as well let me just try and go into that there we go you've got different colors here you've got different color cover screens as well you can have like your Samsung photos showing up and stuff like that um, yeah it's you could do quite a lot but compared to like a normal Android device or like a normal Android tablet it's actually quite limited fam and you don't realize that until you're living with the thing in it now for all the apps that you don't have um, I guess you do have the internet browser Samsung internet browser but there's a lot of apps nowadays that don't even work on this version of the Samsung internet browser because it's so old so ITVX for example although you can bring it up and you can like browse through what's look, bro, look at my belly in the reflection fam although you can bring it up and browse through what's going on on the screen and everything um you can't actually watch it via the web browser on this fridge because the web browser is too old it asks you to update the web browser and samsung won't let you update it any further than it's already updated so you can't actually watch itv player or most stuff on this fridge YouTube works thankfully I think they've got like a mobile version as you can see there they got a mobile version of YouTube so you can play YouTube videos and stuff like that but apart from that um, I was kind of sold the dream that you can watch TV on it and there doesn't seem to be an option to actually do that on this fridge itself apparently there's gonna be an update this is what Samsung said back in March but it's now July I don't see an update what's really good fam and to be honest as I said there's lots of different apps that I can go into kind of thing but I'm not going to do that all in this video if you guys do want me to go into all the apps show you what they can do let me know in the comment section below and I will do a separate video literally just on this part of the fridge why are you barking Leo who are you barking at um, Spotify is kind of cool actually I'll just show you that quickly obviously you know how Spotify works guys but you've got some wicked speakers down the fridge fam that they're not obviously bassy but for a fridge they're actually quite impressive kind of thing i wish i could play you something but obviously youtube copyrights and that you know the vibes in it um but yeah the speakers on the fridge are they're, they're quite decent they're definitely kitchen filling they'll fill your kitchen you just won't get any bass from them obviously because it's a fridge now if you scroll down from the top you can go into settings as you can see I've gone to here and like I said before it's all Android so you've got all those Android settings to go into sound, display brightness, Wi-Fi connection, notifications, connecting your Samsung account, stuff like that. I haven't really seen an email app on here I don't believe. I don't believe there's an email app either to read your emails on your fridge. I don't know who reads their emails on the fridge but if it's a smart fridge I want to be reading emails 
<laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, there's all that kind of stuff. There's even like a meal planner Samsung thing that they do, which looks kind of cool. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you got all that kind of stuff there. Meal planners and stuff like that. Um, whatever you want to mess around with. Ideally, nobody uses it, but yeah, it's there for you to pretend in it. There's also this thing that my mom has given up with. <laughs> you can tap it and add an item that you've put in the fridge recently from your shopping. So if I click on add item, chicken wings. There we go. Man's, man's thing added the chicken wings. Um, if I want to add jollof rice, jollof rice. Yep, it's added, it's added jollof rice as you just saw there. Um, so yeah, now I've added chicken wings and Jennifer to the fridge. Um, you guys can see how the vibes is and, and boom, really. And then it gives you a little expiration date showing you when your items run out of, I don't know, life kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's all vibes until you're putting jollof rice in the fridge, isn't it? I guess, don't get me wrong guys, it is a good fridge, like, it's got good temperature control kind of thing, it's got wicked connectivity, that screen on the front is definitely a talking point when people see it in your yard, it's just that I feel the people at the shop and Samsung themselves on their website let you feel like this fridge can do way more than it actually can. For me, it was specifically the fact that you cannot watch TV on a fridge. It'll be wicked to get rid of the little TV in the kitchen and use the fridge to watch your media on instead. But unless it's YouTube, the outdated internet browser on the fridge, it's just not gonna let you do that. A lot of people won't care about that. The fact that their fridge can set alarms, use Bixby, do most Samsung, Android phone stuff. I guess people will be happy with that. But for me, yeah, I just wanted the extra stuff that I thought, you know, it could also do. But yeah, it's a it's a sick fridge. It's a sick fridge. The water's nice, the dispenser's dispensing. It's doing this thing on it. That's the one. <laughs> 